Colin, let, let's talk a bit about the German market and, and how things are here at ITB Berlin for you. Yeah. Well, the German market is a critical market for us. Uh, we do about 2,000 plus from Germany. But when you combine that with uh, the Nordic states and also the Benelux, we're closer to about 4,000. And the important thing about those 4,000 people is uh, they're true promotable visitors where they come for leisure activities and stay in paid accommodation. So the contribution to the economy is, um, is good. So we come to ITB um, to again uh, communicate with uh, some of our partners in terms of tour operators, uh, the trade, um, and also to deal with our source market reps who are here, based here, uh, to talk a little bit about strategy for the remainder of the year. The, someone might be listening here and or watching this and in your home country and say 2,000, I mean, you spend all of that effort for 2,000 Germans. Mm -hmm. What's the counter to that? Well, again, as I mentioned, you know, the uh, visitors from this part of the world are uh, true promotable visitors. And so, and furthermore, they uh, from Northern Europe tend to stay in Dominica for longer mm -hmm. periods. Um, and so if you look at the daily spend, the average daily spend of a visitor into Dominica, you'll find that they're contributing quite a bit uh, to the, uh, to the, uh, the economy. Uh, staying for longer periods, sometimes seven up till 14 days, um, and spending time in hotels and doing tours and the like. So uh, we don't only look at the number of people coming from a particular source market, but we look at what it is they do and the financial contribution to the economy. How do you raise this number from where it is right now to something that's probably more ideal? Yeah. So our focus for this market and all the other markets is to increase the awareness of Dominica. First of all, to battle the, uh, the, the never-ending uh, uh, confusion between the DR and uh, Dominica. But also just to raise the awareness of Dominica so it's in the consideration set for more people when they are looking at a vacation. Uh, and then furthermore now to work with the trades, particularly some of the OTAs and the brick and mortar trade so that the conversion can happen. People can actually now convert, buy a ticket and come to Dominica. So that involves not only working with the trade here, but working with the local DMCs, the stakeholders in Dominica to prepare these packages and make it easy for the trade here to sell them and for people to come to Dominica. So uh, that's uh, number one is to increase the awareness. Number two is to look at air access and to make it easy for them to come. So to communicate the various ways that they can come to Dominica and from this area, certainly they can go through the French West Indies, Guadeloupe, Martinique, also through St. Martin, come in both by plane and from the West Indies by uh, ferry. So we try to communicate that and let people know that they have a choice. Uh, and then uh, if they can't get to Dominica in one day, certainly look at a multi-destination package. So we consider, number one, the, the, the contribution to the economy as critical. And then we look at raising the awareness to make sure that we can get more people coming and staying in Dominica. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about other things in terms of the access in just a second. But awareness is something that you, you've just mentioned here. And Dominica walked away from the CDU Media Awards last night I'm pretty happy, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, so we continue to be uh, pleased with the Dominica's results from the CTO Media Awards. I think we have just about now won an award or placed uh, in all the source markets that you have events, being UK, Canada, US, Germany. Um, and so yesterday we were pleased to walk away with the third place and the second place for a uh, uh, print, print article in a magazine. Uh, both print and online so we're pretty happy about that and these are some of the things that we do um, certainly try to facilitate the media through press trips to come in and write about Dominica so we can get that third party endorsement and people can uh, we can reach their 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 wider base of, uh, of readers and increase the awareness of the destination and have people consider Dominica for a future vacation certainly 
access remains an issue for you, does it? Uh, it's, I'm, I'm hearing that a lot, by the way, from everyone I yeah. speak with here, that yeah. air access. Yeah. Uh, you've got uh, another problem in that you don't have an international airport. Yeah. So how do you work through this air access questions and problems that you face? Yeah, well, uh, in terms of addressing air access, our, our uh, objectives are to increase capacity into Dominica, increase the convenience, uh, of people flying into Dominique and where we can influence the pricing. So those are three things we look at. Um, you know, however, we have long looked at the strategies uh, in terms of how to accomplish those things and so we're trying to foster better partnerships and relationships with the airlines. We're trying to foster better partnerships and relationships with the hub airport, the in-transit airport, so St. Martin, San Juan, Antigua, Guadeloupe, Martinique, Barbados, and hopefully soon to be St. Lucia. We're trying to foster better uh, relationships with them. And uh, looking at how we can improve that hub and spoke kind of uh, uh, a relationship. Uh, we are also looking at things like multi-destinations, uh, so that uh, when people come into Dominica, if they have to overnight in another destination, we try to make it part of, a, uh, part of the plan and so in packaging, that's one of the things we speak to the tour operators and the trade here about, and also one of the things that we speak to the hoteliers in Dominica about, that we have to do what we can to make the trip more convenient. So if it means an overnight and uh, spending a day or two in, in, en route to Dominica, we should look at that and uh, try to embrace that as a strategy as well. Yeah, does this mean speaking with and and working closely with countries like Barbados that have at least seasonal direct flights and, and Martinique that's working with Barbados where the flight goes to Martinique and then to Barbados. Does it mean working closely with these with yeah. this countries yeah. to, to ensure that you, you market jointly and, and you work close? So for example, Condor is uh, one of the most uh, widely used um, you know, air transport uh, means for the German market and they're coming into Martinique and then onward to Barbados and so what we do is look at how uh, it makes sense for us to now put a, uh, a, a flight you know right after they land in Martinique to come to Dominica and maybe do an open journey utilize them getting back on Liat to Barbados and then outward bound uh, on Condor so these are things that we do looking to have a dialogue with the airline looking to have a dialogue with our partner Liat and ANT in, um, in Martinique, uh, and then looking again to work with the hoteliers to put something together, yeah. I don't see much of your private sector here at ITB. As a matter of fact, I don't recall seeing much of your private sector at any of, of the, the trade shows that you do. Is, is that a concern of yours? Is that yeah. one of the, the serious problems that you have? Yeah. I think private sector participation, uh, private sector from Dominica participation at some of these trade shows is, a, is an area for improvement. And uh, what we're trying to do with the additional marketing budget that we have is continue to increase the awareness, continue to try to inc improve the demand. And so hopefully with better operating capital, they would be able to focus a little bit more on marketing. We're here today with uh, two private sector um, pales in comparison to some of the uh, you know, other destinations like Antigua and Barbados and Jamaica and, and Tobago. Yes, but um, you know, we're, we're, we're at least represented by the private sector, which is good. And we're having good meetings, good meetings. You know, with the trade in terms of Derto and Myers and some of the others, the uh, numbers are looking up for Dominica. Uh, we would like that to also occur at WTM, you know, which is another major trade show in uh, the UK in November time frame. Uh, but certainly we try to utilize technology where we can and even here as a destination try to make some, uh, try to represent the private sector as well. Because at the end of the day it's not just um, us selling the destination, it's selling the hotels and selling where they stay, some of the activities that they can do. So. Uh, we're trying to represent as best we can. It must be a source of frustration though for you that they're not here. Yeah. Well, we, we would like them to be here. I think that the delegation would be much bigger and uh, a little more impressive with the private sector here. But we're thankful for the ones that are here and we would like to encourage more to, uh, to come into the future.
Uh, Colin, you, you had a dip in your cruiser rifles uh, for 2016, a slight increase in your long steer rifles, but we, we've got to put that in the context where you had a, a drop in the previous year. Um, how is it looking for 2017? Right. So in terms of cruise, we're looking at it in two ways. When we look at it from season to season, uh, April, um, October to April, uh, there we may have been flat with a slight increase. Uh, however, when you look at it from a calendar year perspective, there's a slight dip of about 1.6%, so if I recall um, correctly. Uh, but we are in the process now, and in terms of advanced bookings, we, um, we're looking up for this year uh, in both aspects, both I, I, I believe uh, looking at it from season to season and looking at it on the calendar year. So we believe now that the worst of the cruise ship uh, um, numbers, so to speak, are behind us and that we're looking up. We are hopeful to you know, bring on some of the other uh, uh, cruise lines, um, either increase the calls or have some of the cruise lines that, are, that have not been with us in the past um, come back. Um, you know, the most notable would be Carnival. So I believe we have another four calls for Carnival this year and at least some calls in the summer, which is, uh, which is good for the stakeholders. So we continue to, uh, you know, from a governmental um, standpoint, dialogue with the, uh, the owners of the cruise lines and try to influence the itineraries to include Dominica in the, in the uh, Dominica as a port in the itinerary. And then we continue to dialogue with the local stakeholders to, to to up their game, so to speak, to make sure that uh, the cruise lines can increase their revenues and we can give their guests a better experience on island. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it.